Hello, today is Monday, January the 28th, and thank you for tuning in for this week's updates. We're going to format this week's video into going into some recaps of some activities and events from last week, and then we'll go over some coming items on the calendar. So let's dig in. First, I'd like to update you on Senate Bill 1. I mentioned it last week that it had passed out of the Senate. It has been introduced in the House as of January the 24th, but it has not been taken up by the House Education Committee yet. It will need to be passed by the House Education Committee and the House Finance Committee before it can go to the House floor for a vote. If you feel strongly about this piece of legislation, please do feel free to reach out to your local legislator. Again, Senate Bill 1 is better known as free community and technical college tuition. If you follow us on social media, you may have seen some pictures of an articulation agreement signing this past Friday. Bridge Valley has entered into an agreement with Alderson Broadus University that makes it even easier for our students to transfer if they'd like to continue their education and earn a baccalaureate or graduate degree. What this transfer agreement says is that a Bridge Valley student graduating with a 2.0 and in good standing will be admitted to Alderson Broadus. This is a fantastic opportunity for our students, and we encourage you to check out our press release for more details. I also want to share an update from Phi Theta Kappa. They participated in honors and action at the Little Victories Animal Shelter this past Friday. Exciting news that our PTK chapter is now a five-star chapter, so congratulations. Now for some coming events. We will be having a blood drive on both campuses. The first instance is this Wednesday, the 30th, in South Charleston in the lobby. You can schedule appointments either by reaching out to Brandy Lopez or visiting the American Red Cross website. Next Wednesday, the 6th, the blood drive will be on our Montgomery campus in the lobby. If you'd like to schedule an appointment, please reach out to Jeannie Smith or again visit the American Red Cross website. If you'd like to travel abroad and get some credits while you're doing it, we have two opportunities for you. The college is partnering to sponsor a trip to Amsterdam and also a trip to Ireland. If you're interested in the Amsterdam trip, please check out the website and contact Carla Blankenbuehler for more information because the deposit deadline is January 31st. If you're interested in the Ireland trip, the deposit deadline is February the 15th. So you have a little bit more time, but not much. So please check out these opportunities if you're interested. I want to announce that this Saturday, we will be hosting a VEX Robotics competition, and it will be approximately 8 until 4 at the ATC. You can contact Jason Spencer for more information, and we are looking for volunteers to serve either as a line judge, a referee. There are many different ways you can get involved, so please do reach out to Jason and pick up some community service hours. Finally, I'll end with a submission from Chief Boz. Please mark this event on your calendar. It's next month, but I want to make sure everyone has advance notice so they can work their schedules. On February the 27th, from 1 until 2.30 p.m. in Building 2000, Room 137-138. And then it'll also be offered in Montgomery in the Davis Auditorium on February the 28th from 1 to 2.30 p.m. And we will be having presenter Mikhail Bossi come in. And this is a de-escalation training. They will also introduce racial intelligence and engagement ideas. So this is a very good opportunity for you to go and learn a bit about de-escalation. And you'll also hear topics about disproportionate minority contact. So please do put this on your calendar and check it out. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next week.